The first trailer for Black Adam is finally here, showcasing Shazam's longtime nemesis and his impressive powers. But who are all those other metahumans? DC Comics fans know what's up, but if you're new to the world of Black Adam, keep watching for answers. Since the Justice Society of America, or JSA, is clearly going to be a key part of Black Adam's story in what looks like the present day, the trailer highlights a few members of the team and their flashy abilities. One of the biggest reveals is Adam Smasher, who's played by none other than To All the Boys I've Loved Before star Noah Centineo. Although we can't really see his face behind that mask, Adam Smasher does his best Dr. Manhattan impression by striding through the streets at his giant size. It's an impressive shot that reveals a good look at Adam Smasher's costume, complete with glowing blue highlights across his body. In the comics, Adam Smasher's real name is Albert Rothstein, and he's a metahuman with the powers to increase his size and strength. But the glowing blue highlights on his suit in the Black Adam trailer might suggest that he's using technology to enhance his size rather than relying on metahuman abilities. It'll be interesting to see whether Adam Smasher has a rivalry with Black Adam like he does when the ruler of Kondak joins the team in 2001's JSA No. 21. The trailer also shows off Aldous Hodge as Carter Hall, aka Hawkman, and it's great to see him finally get the cinematic treatment. He even gets a great line in the trailer, telling Black Adam that heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. DC fans might remember that a version of the winged archaeologist shows up on the Smallville series, where he's played by Michael Shanks. Falk Hinchel also had a more recent crack as the character in The Flash and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. So it's about time that Carter is finally making the leap to the big screen. The footage shows him wearing a regal suit of red and gold armor before he extends his wings, which DC fans know are made out of the precious nth metal. Carter Hall is the reincarnated version of an ancient Egyptian prince, Khufu, and he's always destined to die at the hands of his arch enemy, Hathset. So don't be surprised if Hawkman dies in Black Adam, only to show up in a future movie under a different identity. That's kind of his deal. What a fitting fate. It's also worth pointing out that his story is intertwined with the story of Hawk Girl, who is the reincarnated version of Princess Chayara. It's possible that she'll also play a part of the DC Extended Universe somewhere down the line. Included in the trailer's short JSA introductions is a small clip of what looks like a cloud of green gas rocketing through the sky. This is most likely the superhero Cyclone, set to be played in Black Adam by Quintessa Swindell. In the comics, Cyclone, whose real name is Maxine Hunkel, is the granddaughter of Abigail Ma Hunkel, the original Red Tornado. Though her grandmother may not have had any inherent superhero powers outside of a skill for hand-to-hand -hand combat, Maxine has developed an incredibly powerful set of abilities, much more akin to later iterations of the Red Tornado. Cyclone has the power to manipulate wind, which allows her to create and control phenomena such as tornadoes, whirlwinds, and cyclones. Though it's incredibly hard to get a glimpse of what is at the center of this gaseous anomaly in the trailer, the green and red color scheme matches up perfectly with the red hair and green suit that Cyclone wears in the comics. Near the end of the trailer, we watch as Black Adam stops a van driven by Professor Adriana Tomas and her associate as the two are crossing through a war-torn desert. On the side of this van is the name Sharuda Electronics, which ought to sound very familiar to longtime fans of DC Comics. In the comics, Sharuda is the name of the capital city of Kondak, a sovereign nation located on the Sinai Peninsula that was conquered by none other than Black Adam himself. The city is even named after Adam's first wife, Sharuda, who died thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt. Since we know that Adam is, at least at the start of the film, only recently released from his 5,000 years of imprisonment, it seems unlikely that we will see him take control of Sharuda and Kondak. Though the appearance of Sharuda Electronics might indicate that the capital city will play a key role in the story itself, one has to wonder how Adam will react knowing it was named after his long-dead wife. It seems that Black Adam will explore the long-standing relationship between the titular anti-hero and Adriana Tomas, aka Isis, an Egyptian goddess imbued with powers upon her acquisition of a mystical amulet. Unfortunately, the trailer makes it clear that the characters aren't destined for a happy reunion, as she looks nervous to see him as he parades around the desert, grabbing rockets with his bare hands. Such is a day in the life of Black Adam. Did he just catch a rocket? He caught a rocket. 
course, it remains to be seen how Tomas, played by Sarah Shahi, will inform Black Adam in the movie. In the comics, she can be credited for helping him discover his inner good and uncover his romantic side. She basically changes his worldview after he frees her from enslavement at the hands of the villainous intergang organization. Black Adam looks set to explore the titular character, putting the anti in anti-hero. So it's safe to assume that Isis will play a big part in his journey. Considering the fact that Black Adam has seemingly been down for the count for 5,000 years at the outset of this film, it's interesting to note that the heroes waiting to greet him are from a different era themselves, at least in the comics. While their group's name isn't mentioned in the trailer, the JSA originated in the 1940s during the golden age of comic books. Dr. Fate and Hawkman, played in the film by Pierce Brosnan and Aldous Hodge, were original members, along with familiar names like The Flash. The team was eventually phased out in 1951 and replaced by the Justice League of America in 1960. Seen as a super team of yesteryear, they've undergone a number of revivals, with Atom Smasher and Cyclone joining the official ranks of the JSA in 2011. It's notable, then, that the trailer places the bulk of the film's plot in the present day or something close, rather than hearkening back to the 40s or 50s. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about Black Adam are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.